what's up guys? <laughs> I just told them to go for a walk and now look at them. <laughs> yeah, we're going. Woo. I did see some sun. Some sun did come out earlier. <laughs> We got a lot of snow today. It's very cold. <laughs> My fingers and toes struggle on days like this, but it's not raining, so I can't complain. I, I'm not allowed to. I have what I want. Clear sky ish. Here's what we like. <sighs> Alright. Been here before. Did I come here for a vlog? I did come here for a vlog. The first one. The very first one. 38 days ago. I did. I remember. Well, it was a lot warmer back then. <laughs> it's gotten a lot colder since. So this little path leads into a forest where I will camp one day. I'm just waiting for the temperature to increase a little bit because it's way too cold. Into a little forest and then it kind of leads to the mountain but I don't know if it'd be warm enough to really go on top of the mountain. The one I did the other day was pretty cold. I mean, unless I can build up like a, a nice sweat, but it's not looking likely. It's just nice to be out. It's not raining. Oh yeah, you know yesterday I said I couldn't find like a river spot that I was looking for. I really wanted to take some pictures there. Well, I found it today on my way here. It was in a complete, completely different place to where I thought it was, but I found it. I can hit that spot when it's sunny get the pictures that I want. It's like, it's just a river that you're not supposed to go near. There's like signs saying don't go down there, but it's like a perfect spot. Yep. Whew, it's freezing. It's getting so cold now. This way, Mr. Jess. It's cold and slippery. I'm just not used to this because I run away every winter. I'm not used to actually sticking it out and seeing what happens. February's cold. Like, it's late February too. I thought it'd be warming up by now, but it's getting colder. <laughs> okay. Looks like they're waiting for food. Look at the white mountains. Wow. Oh, got some nice pictures then. Oh no, the sheep. Flip. Oh, dang it. I need to get through here. Just stay with me, okay? Here we are, chat. Back to the forest. Nice. These are the colors that I've missed. Oh. Yes. Good to be back in here. Got it. Last time I was here, I went up that way, so this time we're gonna go down. I am tempted to go catch the sunset though, because I have a feeling today's gonna be a good one. I've got about half an hour until it starts, and uh, we'll have to go up the mountain to see it. As I was walking over here, I passed a lady and I was just asking her if I was going the right way. She was like, Ooh, you're barefoot. <laughs> Yes. I love when people inquire about it instead of just ignoring the fact. Because it is a nice conversation starter. Like it's the middle of, well, it's late February, <laughs> there's snow on the mountains and I'm just barefoot. <laughs> Walking through muddy puddles and stuff. Like it's, it's a very good conversa it's a conversation starter and uh, I love talking about it really. Just because it's something I'm so invested in. Like I'm seven years deep in this barefoot thing. I think people are starting to realize the benefits even if they don't do it themselves. 
and also just the benefits of being cold. Like cold immersion every day. She was asking if I do if I do like a winter swimming and I don't really, but I do river dips when I can. I haven't done any in a couple months, which is like the best time to do it. I should be doing it in winter. Yeah, I don't know, it's just hard doing like Wim Hof. Wim Hof method, it's really hard to do it. <laughs> Your body's saying no, but winter's like the best time to do it. I think I think that's something I need to challenge myself to do. Do like a, a nice ice plunge in the rivers. Look at all this. <laughs> See, when I get out to places like this, I don't feel so bad about sleeping all day. <laughs> I really didn't want to get out of bed, but I know I, I knew I had to. I could see the sun outside. And although we missed it, it's still fine. It's still dry. Ah, nice. Squeaky tree. Yeah, I hope you guys are all doing good out there. I hope you're all having a great day. I appreciate you all for tuning in once again. I'm here every day. Thank you for all liking and subscribing. Yeah, we hope, I hope to continue this thing for a long time. Document my journey, my journey to building my clothing business. I'm moving house and then buying land. That's my plan, I hope to, I hope you guys join me for the whole thing. Okay, we've gone quite far down this forest now. I'm starting to feel like I wanna go the other way and try and catch the sunset. So we're gonna try and find a path. Kind of just walking the wild at the moment through this. Nice to have you, Jess. Now that I've walked uphill, I'm kind of warm. I wouldn't mind getting naked and taking some photos now. If I could find a spot that doesn't have people. There's a dog walker over there that just passed me. Um, okay, topic for today. You guys know about the Ukraine-Russia thing. It's probably strewed with misinformation. But something's going on, we know, we know that much. I'm not really a fan of war or discussing war. What's the point? Because there's already thousands of other people, tens of thousands of other people and establishments and news outlets, they're all profiting from this. So they have the funds to get their voices out above mine. So I have nothing to add to it all. Um, I'm just not really interested in the whole killing for money thing. Like we all know that the only reason people go to war is so that they can steal land or, or get money like it's a power move and it's also a financial move for the like uh, the arms man manufacturers so because I'm not interested in that kind of stuff I don't really have anything to add yeah who knows what's actually going on it's just a bit it's just a bit lame like it's 2022 you're gonna go to war really with your neighbor, that's, that's a great idea. Just live next to each other with tension forever. Like North, South Korea, they have tension. There's so many borders that have tension when in reality, we're all the same. We might look a little bit different and sound a little bit different, but we're all the same. We all have the same organs. They all do the same things. Our skeletons look identical. So why are we warring? And usually it's not the people that wanna fight. It's just one dude <laughs> against another dude. It's just small penis energy and I can't get behind it. So um, I'm probably not gonna be covering it on this channel. I'm not really interested in like geopolitics. Obviously if anything happens close to home, which won't happen because Wales doesn't, I don't think Wales even has an army. <laughs> so if anything happens then close to home, then I might chime in. But you know, we've got Russell Brand, we've got Joe Rogan, we've got all the, all the normal folks to speak on this stuff. I would say, Avoid news, avoid Twitter trends, avoid Reddit threads, avoid the news outlets like the old school ones because they're all financially gaining from this. Pretty much everyone talking on this topic is going to be making money, therefore uh, if you're going to consume it, consume it with a grain of salt because they have an agenda, they have to make you click on their stuff. So just be careful with all this stuff. Um, obviously, if you live in Ukraine, if it is dangerous, then maybe share what's actually going on so that Western media can't twist it. Yeah. I mean, I'm here for the memes. I hate war. I can't. I can't get back. back I can't back it. I'm, I'm a pacifist, so I'll never back war. 
Yeah, just be, be aware what you share, what you consume, and how you tell people about things. That's why I'm not going to talk about it, because I'm not there. I don't actually know what's going on. I'm just getting information from people that aren't even there. So, you know, like it's not worth it. This is a nice dark patch of woodland. I think I can take some pictures here. It's very nice. Some rock here stands out. Maybe a shot right there. It is always difficult to get naked in the woods in this temperature, but it's actually like really freeing. Feels really nice. Was a little bit of a challenge for him, but he managed to get over. Very proud of him. As I expected, we've got some color in the sky. Very nice indeed. We just missed the actual set, but it would have been behind clouds anyway. So it's okay. Nice. It's hard doing mountains this time of year. It's so cold. The air is just really cold. But uh, I have to do it, you know. I have to expose myself to the, the freezing elements so that I can feel stronger. I don't want to be all comfy and cozy all the time. Discomfort's where we grow. So we came off trail to get here now. Now we're struggling to find a way back in, into the forest. There's a barbed wire fence and a tall wall that he can't jump over. So I'm trying to find like an actual fence, but because I was off trail, there isn't one nearby. My car's that way, but I think we have to go down the hill to get back into the forest and follow the actual footpath. It's quite annoying really. See if Jasper wasn't here I could just hop the fence, but I have to go the long way around now. Okay, so we took a wrong turn in the woods and we were like 15 minutes off course. And we had to go along the road. I don't have a leash for Jasper, so I had to makeshift this. It's just my thermal leggings. <laughs> and it worked really well. But yeah, we did it. Nice, bro. We did it. Well done. It's a pretty big one. <laughs> Alright, I just did a little shop. Got a bunch of food that I needed. Now I'm very excited to go home and eat. Got some fruit, some melon. I like to have like a fruit breakfast or a fruit lunch and then I have like a heavier meal in the evening with my veggies. Uh, I feel good but at some point I did something to my shoulder. At some point today. I think maybe when I was naked and I was jumping on rocks. Um, it's like 8pm so I think I'm gonna maybe stream for a couple of hours and then get to work on the video. But I like being consistent with things. If, I, if I'm not consistent with the stream then people don't watch. The past two streams we've been like getting double the viewers I usually get, which is nice. So I don't know what it is, like maybe because I'm being consistent or just because people are bored right now. I don't know. It's hard to say, like Twitch is very hard to get viewers on. If anyone has any tips, <laughs> I'm open to it. I think if I just did IRL, just talking to the camera, maybe I'd have more people watching. It's hard to say, because I can only be as, enga as engaging as the audience. If the audience is talking to me, then I have something to reply to. <laughs> I can't just entertain without any substance, you know? Okay, so I've just been chilling, talking to my dad for a bit about the whole Russia thing. Um, I wanted to say, although I'm not going to talk about it much in these vlogs, maybe not at all, the Magic Mushies Discord, right here, Magic Mushies Discord, it's, it's a safe space to post political memes or talk about whatever you want to talk about. A lot of people feel like they can't speak freely right now, but just know the Discord is a safe space, you can talk about whatever you want there. First line in the description, okay, the Discord. If, you, if you're new to Discord, just join and we'll, we'll explain how it all works, it's very simple. And it's a nice place to be, so yeah, join it. Thanks, and come talk to us. I'm gonna end the vlog early because I want to shower and eat. <laughs> I say early, it's like 10 p.m., bro. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Uh, I had fun today. I hope you enjoy it. Just, I need to do something weird because every time I do something weird at the end of my videos, it gets turned into a GIF. Hmm, what could I do?